visionary team man what to do with y'all welcome back to another video and i think that's my third time making the black screen look man like i said i don't have no storage space on my iphone so like i said i'm recording off the galaxy man you feel me i plan to get a new phone soon out this bitch <laughs> but yeah man so i want to talk to y'all about something man i want to talk to y'all about something you see this is this to all the people that gets high up on the days on 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 no fat you see I've been on I've been on a whole lot of no fat streets, you know. I, I've been new about no fat for at least 2017, and I remember I remember before 2017, I think it was 2015. I was in the 11th grade or some shit like that. You feel me? And I went 30 days. This was before I knew what no fat was. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, man. So I knew about no fat for a long time, or I tried to do it for a long time. Out this bitch, you feel me? So, but um. And also, I'm playing GTA right now, so you might hear the notifications and shit. <laughs> but yeah, man. So anyways, so what I'm saying is, you know, th this video is going to be to all the people that, that got high up on the days on no fat. It, it could be, uh, G that, that was a GTA phone call. <laughs> but it could, you, you know, your no fat streak, your no fat streak could be like 30 days, two months, five months. <laughs> 14 days, um, you know, um, five days, you know, most people can't even go a day. We're talking, most people can't even go a day. They, they relapse on day two of this bitch. They can't go a day. Um, you know, a year, no, no matter how long your no fab streak is, you see what I'm about to say is whenever you get high up on the days, I'm going to just tell you this. My last, my last biggest streets that I had recently was my last streak that I had that was a that was a whole lot a whole lot of days was 27 days. That was the biggest streak I had um from the past six months, you know, or you know, yeah, it hasn't been a year yet. So my biggest streak, my highest streak so far in the past six months was 27 days. But other than that, I've been having like 14 days, you know, 15 days, uh I think I went 21 days one time or some shit. I think um, right. um, 10 days, 12 days. You feel me? Um, those, those been my those been my high streaks so far on some shit. You feel me? My last streaks. You feel me? And basically, it always been a pattern that I've been realizing. The pattern that I've been realizing was when you get high up on the days, there's going to be two versions of you, and that's how I describe it. Shout out to the YouTube channel, Me versus Me. I know I, I know I, damn phone calls. <laughs> but I know I make a video on it. I know I'm, um, I know I know I ain't going to this channel for a long time. Uh, it's a YouTube channel called Me versus Me. You feel me? And it's a song called Me versus Me by Moneybag. You know what I'm saying? And um, basically, that's the best. That's the best way I could put it. You see, when you do no fat, when you do no fat, man, that's basically two versions of you that that are competing with each other. You got the conscious side of you. That's the conscious side of you, aka that's the you that wants to be great. That's the you that wants you to be disciplined. That's the version of you that wants you to succeed in life. And then you got the unconscious side of you. And the unconscious side of you, just read, just, just, just think about the, think about that word unconscious. So it's doing everything unconsciously, random, <laughs> real shit. So basically, you know, you know. Let me use this no five example, and this is what I want to get across. Basically, what I'm saying is your unconscious side of you when you're on no fat, you're going to have to be dealing with a super, super, supernatural force. So let's go deeper into that, man. So, OK, so now we on no fat, right? So hold on. I'm about to play the game at the same time. Doing it. So anyways, so now, well, OK, so when you're on no fat, right, when you're on no fat, you're going to have to face a supernatural force. And basically what I'm saying is that's going to be your unconscious side of you. This is to all the people that get high up on the days. You want to know the reason as to why you relapse when you get high up on the days? You want to know the reason for why? It's not because you're consciously trying to relapse. It's not because of that at all. The reason as to why you relapse when you get super high up on the days is because it's the unconscious side of you that's fucking with you. Like I said, it's all happening unconsciously. When you get hop on the days, you're going to have a supernatural force 
because you're high up on a day. So you're going to have supernatural force inside of you. That's that just it's going to be it's going to be supernatural horny out this bitch. So basically, it's going to it's going to it's going to pulsate throughout your whole body and your whole mind. So it's going to it's going to it's going to feed you all these lustful all, all these lustful thoughts that you want to hear, all of these things so you could go back into into what you were doing before, go back into not feeling horny. But if you do that, it's going to be a side effect. Like I said, I'm not planning to relapse ever again. You see, when you relapse, when you relapse, I don't care. Like I said, the higher of the days that you go, when you're on NoFap, the higher of the days that you go, the harder that you're going to fall. So if you do it one time after after being on NoFap for 60 days, some shit like that, right? Nine times out of ten, you ain't gonna just do it one time. There is no way on God's green earth it's gonna be a one percent chance that you're only gonna stick to doing it just that one time. If you did it after six after sixty days, you're gonna do it more than one time. The reason why is because it's gonna feel too good. <laughs> the fuck, I know for a fact if I went sixty days, I ain't stopping one time. You got me effed up. But anyways, but like I'm saying, that's the supernatural force. That's making you do that. It's not you consciously that's making you want to relapse. Like I said, you went 60 days, however days that you want, 13 days, 30 days, 50 days, eight months, years, I don't care. Anyways, but you went, you did all of those days consciously for a reason. You didn't do all of that just to relapse and then go back to your old, old unhealthy habits. No. I'm told. I'm telling you right now. It's it's the unconscious side of you that's messing you up. It's the it's the unconscious side of you. I call it. It's the supernatural. It's the supernatural force that you can't control. Anyway, so the best way I could put it is, you know, I could put it like this. Let me use this example, right? So, you know, you know when you're in a video game, right? You know when you're in a video game. You know you're playing like story mode or some shit like that, right? You know, and um, basically, you know, you're the main character, right? So you're the main character, and you almost finished with the game, right? But you got one more battle that you got to face. And basically, what that is, you got the boss battle. The best the best example I could use is like Mortal Kombat or some shit. It could be in a video game, but I'm going to go with uh, Mortal Kombat. You know, when you, you know when you're playing Mortal Kombat. And I'm going to just say this. I got the new Mortal Kombat game. It came out a couple years back, Mortal Kombat 11. I played I played that whole game. I played all of the game. I played all the um you know, I defeated all the all the characters that I had to defeat, you know, in the story mode, right? But then it's this last it's this last story mode or it's this last battle in the story mode. It's um I'm supposed to be Luke Kane, I think. I think I'm supposed to be Luke Kane. I can't remember. Yeah, I ain't played in so long because I, I ain't even beat the game out of this bitch. But I'm supposed to be Luke Kane or some something I think, right? Or Raiden, one of them. And um, basically, I'm supposed to be fighting this. I'm supposed to be fighting this person named Chronica. Chronica is a supernatural god. You know what I'm saying? So you know, Chronica, Chronica is you know, Chronica is like, is she on a different level? You know, she on she got some supernatural ass powers. So, anyways. Here go my health bar, right? My health bar is the regular health bar. And Chronica's health bar is on a supernatural health bar. On top of that, she got supernatural as abilities and attacks, all type of shit. Basically, my point is that's your unconscious side of you. You see, you're the regular person in that in that boss battle. You're gonna be that regular person in that boss battle. That's gonna be the conscious side of you. And you gotta you gotta go toe-to-toe with the unconscious side of you, aka the supernatural motherfucker. That's who you're you're battling a boss battle when you get high up on a day so no fat. This is the reason as to why people that's the reason as to why people keep on relaxing because it's hard to beat. I still never I still never completed Mortal Kombat. I still never beat that game. That's how hard that shit is. <laughs> Real talk, but that's the best example I could give. You feel me so on. <sighs> but yeah, man, you know. That's all that's I'm saying, man. That, that's the reason as to why people keep on relapsing over and over and over and over again. I know it's a whole lot of us. We get high up on the days. You're a person that want to complete the no fab 90 day challenge, right? You're a person that want to go your whole life doing it, right? I'm one of those people that want to go my whole life not, not playing with myself. I hate doing that shit. You know, I want to go my whole life never touch myself ever again. But then, like I just said, the greatest example I can use is like a video game example. The last boss battle that you got to fight. You know, here you go. You got the regular health bar. You got the regular health bar. That's what you have, right? 
then like I said, you got the boss battle half bar. The boss battle half bar, boss battle half bar is like 100 plus more than yours. And then it got multiple abilities, all type of shit can regenerate, all type of shit. That's who you're facing when you're on no fat, when you get high up on the days. You got to face that shit. You got to face a supernatural force. That's the reason why you realize, because it's a 1% chance that you're going to beat it. So, but like I said, let me use a positive outcome for it because, you know, you still, it's it, like I said, it's still a possibility that you could beat no fat, but you could you could accomplish no fat, but it's going to be extremely hard. All I'm saying is it's not your fault that this shit is hard. It's not your fault. So if you're a person that relapsed, it's not your fault. Like I said, it's not you consciously that's doing it. It's your unconscious side of you. That's the point I'm trying to get across. If you go back to this, this is why people don't accomplish New Year's resolutions. This is why people don't accomplish their dreams in life. They don't accomplish none of the, none of the things that they want to do because it's their unconscious side of them telling them, oh, stay in the same spot. Oh, just be right here for the rest of your life. You know for a fact you don't want to be there. You know for a fact that you're trying to change your life around. But like I said, the unconscious side of you is making you stay like that. And let me use another example. You know, you see this pretty girl, right? You see this pretty girl that you wish you could approach, right? Do you know? So now you're in your mind. You see yourself approaching her or some shit like that, right? Or you just wish you could really approach her. But you know, you, you know for a fact that you ain't going to do it. You want to know why you ain't going to do it? It's not because you don't want to do it. It's because your unconscious side is telling you to not do it. it, it go, it's going to go in that It's going to go in that flight mode. Like the, like the term fight or flight, it's going to go in that flight mode. So it's going to tell you, oh, you're not worthy. Or it's going to tell you, uh, oh, no, it's going, to be, it's going to be too hard. Let's not do it. It's going to, it's going to bitch you to not doing it. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, <laughs> all I'm saying is your unconscious side is an op. Your unconscious side is the enemy. I mean, I said this in my last video. Real talk. But anyways, so basically what I'm saying is I got beef with my unconscious self out in this bit. <laughs> yeah. Because your unconscious self is going to be the reason as to why you relapse. Your unconscious side is going to be the reason as to why you don't accomplish your dreams. Your unconscious side is the reason as to why you why you are stacking it in life. It's not, it's not the conscious side of you. The conscious side of you wants to be great. It wants to be a winner. But your conscious side wants to be a loser. And wants you to remain a loser so you can live in comfortability. That's the key word. It wants you to be comfortable. And that's why so many people are living comfortable. <laughs> the fuck? But anyways, man, I think I got my point across, man. You feel me? Never live in a state of comfortability. And on top of that, the real comfortability is when you are living great. That's the real comfortability. But I think your body wants you to be lied to. <laughs> Why you think we live in the Matrix for? But anyways, man, if you like this video, man, stay tuned for some more videos. And we out. V's up.